Sarah! Why? You never came back! This is a serious dilemma. Well, we're here now. Yes, but our mechanisms aren't precise enough for Uncle Archie to meet us here, now. He said he would head to the library if it's still here in this time. Yes, if he's safe, he'll be there often. And the Science Museum is there, too. Egads! How will we locate the library? Well, we're in the general proximity of its location a hundred years ago. Pardon me, where would we find the Science Museum? Uh, oh, you must mean the planetarium. Well, you're a bit early. The new one opens here in 2012. Uh, may I direct you to a science section instead? That would be lovely, thank you. Are you looking for a specific subject? Time truck physics. Well, here are some numbers. You can take the stairs or the elevator. Okay. And I love your period costume. Please be here, Uncle. It brings me great joy to see you, though you didn't have to come. Let me guess, you followed Henry when he did not return. Yes, like we discussed, I will not be left alone in another time. We are pleased that you gave us the option, but setting it to a year after your arrival seemed risky. Perhaps, but to you, I've only been gone a bit. But I've learned much in a year, and I've assimilated. Your gadgets, they work to the precise month. But I'm not sure that was for the best. Uncle, the decision was easy to make. But this time period, it's wildly fascinating. There's a treasure of knowledge, and that motion picture box with sound and color, it can give you access to knowledge and people from around the world. With sound? And color. It is impressive. But I'm not sure this period is ready for time travel. Perhaps we'll jump further into the future. Well. I've secured a home nearby. Let's get you guys out of these bunky suits. We'll come back tomorrow.
I can hardly wait to see a motion picture with sound and color. Excuse what? me, do you have the time? <laughs> <laughs> It's my time, we thought it over 